Hey guys, it's Matt. It's Ange. And it's Papa. And Mama. Pops. <clears throat> Gosh, we're such losers. <clears throat> Anyways, we're coming at you with a big old mail call. So, get ready. Like I said, we're coming with a huge mail call today. Um, with questionable shipping. So I like pre-opened some of these because they were so poorly shipped. Um, because I wanted to make sure if I needed a call, that I could call immediately. I don't know what the deal is with shipping, but it's awful. That's why I prefer to see it in person. Anyway, so we want to show you all these cool things that we picked up. And we will be at Steel City Con. We will. By the way, this Saturday, April 13th for my birthday, to answer y'all's, um, well, no, to answer our question that y'all answered to, I am 28. So, I highly appreciate the people calling me 21, though. Thank you very much. I'm 21, guys. I may look like I'm 12, but I promise I'm 21. Mm -hmm. You're just going to be 22. So, anyways, we have <clears throat> some fun mail. So, if you're at Steel City Con, please stop by and see us. I don't know what we're looking for. We're looking for some grails. We may pick them up. We may not. Who knows? We may not buy anything. I don't know. But we're going to enjoy it. So, anyways, let's go ahead right, and pop. pop. Let's show them. Yeah. So, first, I want to show you. This is how this arrived from Foot Locker, okay? Check that out. No, th literally, this is it. You don't see any bubble. You don't see any paper. No sorter box. So, I was, I was very worried. But, somehow, Charlotte, in all of her glory, survived. She's got the blue... Robe styling and profile, and like her dad, the Nature Boy Ric Flair. We do have the green common version, but I like this one even better. And this is the Foot Locker exclusive. So there you go, guys. If you order from Foot Locker, they ship awful. They need to stop that. Yeah, they're probably the. Eh, it's close. They're probably the worst, but it's it's about a three way tie, and you'll see all three of them in this video. So, anyways, really cool figure though. There is no damage on this whatsoever, so we lucked out on this one. She's cool. What do you think of her? I like her. She's cool. She's not the man, Becky Lynch. I like the mold detail. New champion, by the way. Mark, whatever. Yeah, Charlotte does have that characteristic mole on her face, which is kind of cool that they, they capitalize and put that in there. So, that was the first one. Oh, we should show you this. Okay. So, I went to my local comic book shop today, and they had this really cool figure. It's old, but go ahead and show He's it off. It's heavy. It's the original Oogie Boogie. Yeah. Sorry, guys. The glare is really bad. With the dice, that is a, just such a cool figure. Um, it's older. I don't remember the year, but um, it's a neat figure. Series mm. four. Yeah, we wanted to get it. There's a so like Sorcerer Mickey's in the series. Mayor Goofy, some real big grails. This one's not worth a ton. It's like fifteen dollars, but I love Nightmare Before Wally, Christmas. Wally, Captain Jack Sparrow, Tigger, Grumpy, Cinderella, Evil Queen. Mm -hmm. Tigger's expensive too. I don't think any, and maybe, um, no, I don't know if, I know that one for sure is. I would love Mayor. Mayor's a grail of mine. It's always going to be on there. Um, I just, it's hard for me to pay $500. I'm not going to do that. So he will remain in the <clears throat> I wish I had list. Wish list? Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Next up. What should we, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. So Walmart. Can't ship either. Literally, the box you saw um, with the Charlotte Flair in was the exact way Walmart's looked like, and it had one random piece of bubble wrap. Yeah, it was awful. Mo now, we lucked out. I feel lucky after seeing how other people did, but this is Void from Incredibles 2. A really sweet figure, too. There's the back of the box as well. Take her out um, and chill. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, it's... Kind of coming up here, but it's not damaged. There's just a minor imperfection up there on the corner, and you may not be able to pick it up. But we feel fortunate compared to, like, 90% of the other people. Who I think it would be cool to show the details. That's yeah, why. we'll show you Void since it's already not perfect and kind of bulged out, so to speak. This is a super cool figure, though. Oh, this is really sweet. Yeah. So this is Boyd. Look at that. Look at that. That is so sick. Yeah, like that. If you haven't seen Incredibles 2, she's a pretty, 
pretty cool in that spoiler. one. Spoiler. Yeah. It is kind of a spoiler. We're really bad at doing that. We're sorry about that, guys. But a really neat figure. So Void. That's awesome. So again, we can't complain compared to what other people dealt with. But it's just, you know, it's so irresponsible. We buy stuff off these websites okay you know what if you're if it's not going to be free shipping fine that's fine at least give me an option to where i could get something decently shipped i was talking to other people on instagram and they're frustrated i know some put in special requests i think wally's world of toys put in a special request and i just are you good <laughs> I, I can't get the, i can't get it closed. Let anyways let's move on to the next one while uh maybe we'll put that afterwards but let's do this one first got it so Mama got me this one, this one, and uh, I know there's nothing. You can't see a single thing. Matter of fact, I'm not even holding anything. This is just box. nothing. It's a box. Nothing there, so that's it. No, just kidding. This is the John Cena uh, translucent or um, C3, whatever you want to call it. Um, in case you didn't know, which you probably do if you've gotten this figure, John Cena's catchphrase is you can't see me. And he's pretty much worldly renowned for the memes that are, and you know, sayings that, okay, you can't see John Cena. And there's a picture of John Cena with someone else. And it's like, oh my gosh, I can only see Nikki Bella. There's no one else in the picture. Uh -huh, remember, remember, remember. Hilarious. Anyways, John Cena, really cool one. Amazon exclusive. Take this one out too. I think she, did you say they also packaged this pretty poorly? Uh, no, this one was actually packaged pretty well. It was a box inside of a box. Like one what of those pop okay. boxes. I don't know what those are called. But it was packaged well. I don't want to damage the box. We're not as fortunate. Okay, we'll get to this in a little bit. And then the last one, this was shipped. I'm trying not to bend it. You won't be able to see it, I promise. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm keeping it anyways. She'll show you real quick. Oh, there's a background on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. But we'll show it real quick before I move on to the next figure. Anyways, there's John Cena. You can't see him. He's cool. Yo. He's a really sweet figure. For real. Yeah. Sorry, I'm mesmerized. Okay. He's cool. But anyways, so last one, we got this one from Amazon as well. This was horribly shipped um, as well. And that is the theme. Every single thing here was basically poorly shipped. This one included, but it also survived. So we're fortunate. And this is a really cool one. Um, we got this one the first time it came out. And I'll shave a little minor damage on it in a second. I don't think people realize how, like, expensive these are or, like, yeah, fragile. Yeah, 40, 40 bucks. I know and this is worth, like, 80 now or whatever, but come on, you know. Where's a tongue? Bonza, Shinzi, and uh, Ed. Yeah, these are really cool figures. Sorry for the glare there, guys. This is the Emerald City Comic Con version. Again, like the Void. This is the last one for us to get in. It is in almost pristine shape. By the way, there's the back. I'll show you. It's almost in pristine shape. I'll show you the one imperfection, and that is right up there. Right there. Yeah, very minor, but I mean, you know, you can prevent that by shipping adequately. So frustrating, but um, nonetheless, we did pretty well because this could have gone very poorly. So yeah, that's it. So uh, yeah, we're going to Emerald City. No, we're not going to Emerald City Comic Con. We're going to Steel City Comic Con. Um, Saturday, April 13th, we will be there starting at 10. We'll be there for who knows how long. We may get something. We may not. I don't know. We're going to be looking around and see what we can find. I am probably meeting Mark Henry and Jim Ross there, so that is most likely where you could potentially see me. So if you're there, say hey. If not, you know, y'all take care. <laughs> it's almost Easter. It's almost Easter. We will have some mystery boxes for each other then, so. Um, stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Um, there might have been a little shaking because we're on a weird surface, but sorry about that. But anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.